Take it down was the motto of a gathering today by religious leaders and activists voicing their anger towards the current state flag and those who support it. 12 News' Alex Love attended the news conference and recaps their passionate statements demanding change. Combining anti-racial injustice messages and Christian values, pastors and other speakers did not hold back taking the podium, demanding lawmakers act now to change the state flag that they still see oppressive. They say LeBron should just dribble and shut up. LeBron is refusing to shut up. You should refuse to shut up. Following a Mississippi State football starter refusing to play until the state flag comes down, Judge Carlos Moore urges others to follow. Athletes across this state she refused to play another down until that flag comes down. If the college students do it, the high school students are going to do it. Make your voices be heard. You are not just a piece of entertainment. Reflecting on the history of the Confederate emblem and the beliefs of those who fought for it, pastors and county leaders see it against what Christianity stands for. Our Ten Commandments say do unto others as you would have them to do unto you. And those people who were challenging the, the removal of this flag, I'd like to ask them, does that follow those two items? If you have faith, faith demands that I don't just talk about it, I do something about it. Yeah. If your faith is truly a biblical, godly faith, show the love of Jesus right. to a people that have been disenfranchised. They believe the best option is legislators act now to change the flag since it was their branch of government that put it up back in 1894. Otherwise, Mississippi will fall behind from many business boycotts. Mississippi has long been on the wrong side of history. Mississippi is currently on the wrong side of history. Even such institutions as NASCAR have seen the offensiveness of symbols such as the state flag and the Confederate flag. Those who gathered also acknowledge this fight is far from over and they're calling on all people, especially the young generation, to call out their legislatures online and in person to act now. Reporting in Jackson, Alex Love, 12 News.